I'm Alan Arkush, and this is Trailers from Hell, The Rolling Stones and Marty Scorsese. It was a perfect combination of music and film from the first time the camera dances into the neighborhood bar in Mean Streets. Tell Me is booming out of the jukebox, and with Mick Jagger's drawl lyrics, I want you back again, a great cinematic marriage begins. The Stones have been filmed more times than any band I can think of. The Tammy Show in 1964 was their screen debut, and half a century later, one wonders what they can show us. This inevitable Scorsese Stones concert movie takes on a challenge, and there's nothing like watching a bunch of pros at the top of their game. Sure, they're old, but if you're a lifelong Stones fan, so are you. Turn up the volume, crack open a bottle of Jack Daniels, smoke them if you've got them. It's the finale of their 2006 tour and the maestro is calling the shots. Shine a light. If you look online, the amount of material featuring the Rolling Stones is overwhelming and I think that I have seen most of it. My first experience was a sneering appearance on the Dean Martin show that was pure generation gap. To me, Give Me Shelter is one of the top five rock movies ever. It'd be good to have a camera that moves, that, that swoops down and in and out. In 1972, they made the legendary Cocksucker Blues. The great beat photographer Robert Frank shot all the drugs, debauchery, and tedium of their exile tour. The Stones hated it and withdrew it from all distribution, hence its legendary status. Get yourself a bootleg. For the best of the stadium shows, watch The Stones at the Max directed by Julian Temple in 1991. It's an IMAX epic that features great performances and 40-foot-tall honky-tonk women, which brings us to Shine a Light. The first section of the movie features Scorsese and Mick Jagger's preparations for the concerts. There's a bit of manufactured drama about the opening song. The band starts and we are off on familiar ground, but it's with the third song, She Was Hot, that Shine a Light becomes transcendent. During the second verse, Keith kicks it up a notch, Mick falls into Keith's groove, and by the chorus, the entire stage are locked in. The camera is showing you the stones shed their mere professionalism and regain the crown of the greatest rock and roll band in the world. It's not an accident that the movie starts with the band rehearsing this song, and here we are at the peak. The guests arrive and Jack White sings with a big grin on his face. He can't get over being on stage with these Olympians, but leave it to blues guitar legend Buddy Guy to trade licks with Keith and bring it up to another level. Then of course, there's sympathy for the devil, and it becomes very clear that Master Scorsese is in charge. He has been waiting his whole life for this rock and roll show with his favorite band. Yes, after 50 years, we still get what we need from the Rolling Stones.